Hey guys, I'm Jill Powell, and today I am joined by my really good friend, Julie. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Um, I totally called her last night and was like, I need your face, and she's here. So I'm so thankful that she is. And we are gonna do this beautiful kind of everyday skin, a little bit of glow, working with freckles or hyperpigmentation. If you wanna know all my chip, uh, chips and tricks, if you wanna know all my tips and tricks, Go ahead and stay tuned. And don't forget, I always link all my products below. So if you have questions on the products that we use in any of my videos, check out the, product, the video description and you will see the links to all of my products. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video and stay tuned for this look. Okay, so we are here with Miss Julie, and it's funny because we actually call each other Miss Jill and Miss Julie. Because <laughs> we have kids, our kids are friends, we've known each other for years, so thank you so much for coming today. Thank you for having me. I called her and was like, I need your face, and you're here. We're here. So We're I've ready. done your face before, it's not, it's not new to me, but you just got back from a cruise and you're nice and tan. I mean, jealous, right? So she's got some tan going on, so um, you also have freckles. So we're gonna kind of even it out a little bit, you kind of don't wear a lot of face makeup typically though, right? Just kind not of too smoothing. Much. You don't like, mm -hmm. she's not like a heavy makeup person. So we'll do some of our kind of tactics that we use. You will see um, a lot of her skin tone like even out, but I'm not gonna completely cover the freckles because we don't want to look cakey or heavy and it's just not her style. Plus she has freckles all over her body. And if your freckles everywhere and then you take them all away on your face, then it's a little obvious guys. So we're gonna make it just look really pretty and natural and Go from there. Okay, so you have already prepped with moisturizer, correct? Yes. Okay. I might do, do a little primer, but makeup stays on you pretty well, right? Yeah, mostly. So Julie is a teacher, also a PE teacher sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> two periods a day. Funny story. She used to be a PE teacher full time. Now it's only two periods a day, but she teaches a little bit of everything. I, um, I can't wait for your students to see this. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, your students like me. They do. So we're going to start out with a primer. This one is Hourglass Veil. Um, what's great is it has a little bit of SPF in there. So Miss Julie knows that it's important to wear SPF every day, especially you're out in the sun with your PE students. You're out in the sun with your crews. But you wear, you wear sunscreen. Every day. Yep. And you have a little a little girl who has the cutest little freckles and she is very fair and you put sunscreen on her every day, right? Yep, every morning. Yep, that's part of the routine. So sunscreen is going to help save your skin, keep you looking young, and it's good to get it in either your moisturizer, separate, or if you skip it in all of that, at least your primer, if not your foundation. So I'm gonna test this color. We didn't try any colors. This one actually looks kind of dark, but you have some tan going on here. So I might just um, play around with it. So this is Lancome Skin Feels Good. It is a little bit dark, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this on and then probably lighten it up as well. I think I have another one of these that's a little bit lighter, which I might go grab. But this definitely matches the color in your chest. So I do like that we're kind of pulling it all together. So it's not covering up her freckles, but it's giving her natural skin tone a little bit more color. Bring some along your cheeks as well. You've used this one before, right? Yeah, that's what I use. So it's nice and light. It's like kind of like a tinted moisturizer. It doesn't yeah, really feel that's heavy. That's nice. It lasts the whole day. Yeah. It's good stuff. It has, it has some coverage, though, but it's not like heavy. It just, I mean, it does. It makes your skin feel good. So perfect name. And I'm using um, just like a domed foundation brush. This one is by Sigma. It's the Concealer Blend Kabuki F79, which I tend to like this one because it just kind of gives that airbrushed finish. So do you apply it with your hands, though? No, I use a brush. You do? I do. 
Wow, I think, you've, taught me that. I think you've learned from me. I love this. All right, so. I always do what Miss Jill tells me. Amazing. Given some tips over the years. Tips and beauty products and just sharing stuff. I actually really like this color on you. So, I mean, you're, well, you're, your skin was a little bit lighter underneath, but your freckles, you know, do give you a lot of color. So, I do like this on you. Hmm. Good to know. So, just so you know, this is 4N sand. That might be your summer Maybe color. I'll go buy it. Yeah, this might be your summer color. Go buy a bottle. Because you change a lot. Like in the summer, you definitely get a lot darker. Yeah. You guys like to vacation. We do. All right. So I do like how that's looking. I might add just a little bit of another foundation in some areas to really brighten and create some dimension. Okay, so we have a majority of foundation on. I'm going to move to concealer, and I know I'm jumping around a little bit. I think I'm going to do another foundation along your jawline, but I do want to conceal a little bit and kind of brighten in areas. So I've selected two concealers. Um, I've got the LC Complete Remedy um, Silk Concealer, which I absolutely love. And I also have the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion. This one is really, really great because it shows like no texture anywhere. It just like melts into the skin. This one's a little bit lighter. This one's a little bit darker. I've got tan and 2C. Um, so I like to cocktail everything. So tan's gonna probably work, but it might not bring the brightness that I want. So um, that's why I brought in that 2C. So I'm just gonna go starting along her eyes. Yeah, this is definitely gonna, it's pretty, but it's definitely dark for her. So I'm gonna mix in a little bit of this just to keep it nice and bright. And you have a fun day ahead of you, Julie, right? Oh, yes. Some errands. Going to Home Goods. Little Home Goods. Movies with the kids. Yeah, maybe the dry cleaners. Wow. Like the fun never stops around here. <laughs> it's like that movie. <laughs> Little Bed Bath and Beyond. <laughs> what movie is that? Old school? Oh, yeah. <laughs> With Will Ferrell. Yeah. That's, that's our, our life. life. That's our lives now, guys. We are very fun. <coughs> I promise. I promise. You know, it's a Friday. Oh, we and Miss Jill got big plans. We do have big plans. Although, I think we're hanging out on Sunday. Did your husband tell you? Oh, no. What are we doing? Yeah. Um, we're going to go pack our cornhole. I think. I know, okay. <laughs> um, our husbands last night entered a cornhole tournament, which is that, like, beanbag toss game. And they, they were won. like... Yeah, they won. Well, I feel bad, though. They were, like, super excited because they wanted to go and play together. But apparently, like, they don't want you to bring your own team. Which seems so weird. I mean, I guess so there's, like, not total domination. But they totally dominated anyways on two separate teams. So good job, boys. Yeah. Very proud. My son was very sad. He was like, why didn't Dad bring me? I don't think the kids could go. No? I think because it's at a bar. Oh, see. I don't know. I don't things. know. Okay, so I don't know if you know, but we are hanging out on Sunday. Perfect. Our, our husbands, I think, decided it last night. Fun. You'll probably find out soon. Yeah, I have heard nothing of it. <laughs> but I am looking forward to you coming over. <laughs> so we are coming over to her house. We're going to watch some football with the kids. Nice. And, yeah. So we'll it'll make be fun. It. Yep. We'll do, our, we'll do our wives thing. We'll just, you know, make the appetizers. and I do like football, though. Yeah, it's fun. What time is football at? One? It's at 10. 10? Okay. Yeah. So, huh. bright and early. Early games, we always do bacon wrap little smokies. Oh, that's a They're good so idea. good. Because it's kind of like breakfasty, but yummy, appetizer. I don't know. We could do breakfast. We could, huh? That'd be kind of fun. We could do like a little French toast bar or something. Yeah. I just like hanging out with friends and doing fun things like that. So I am covering some of your freckles, and now I feel bad because I said I wasn't going to, but it's just the concealer is looking really pretty, so I'm just kind of just kind of evening things out. We're still going to show a lot of them, but under the eyes I've concealed things, so now I have to like blend it and make sure it all kind of goes together. Okay, so I'm just still taking my concealer brush. I'm just kind of um, touching up a, little, a few areas. I want everything to really flow together, so I like to bring all the colors that I'm using on the face just to kind of make everything blend. I'm just gonna have you turn this way a little bit. Sometimes I can't see this side, so we are going to just smooth all that. Go into the hairline. 
All right. So we've pretty much finished her foundation. I'm going to go in and do a little bit of um, contour, a little bit of blush. So I'm just bringing a little bit of color down on the neck. A lot of times um, when you're out in the sun a lot, like Julie is for her job, um, her chin is shading. So she actually is a little bit lighter through the center of your neck. Have you noticed that? Yes. How you like have that? Yeah. A little white spot. Yeah. So then I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> So it's always good to like, you just throw a little bronzer there or a little bit of color just so that everything now looks really even and kind of like one tone. Perfect. That's it. Easy breezy. So we have completed her foundation and she is definitely like not as dimensional as I want her to be. Um, I also didn't want to put too dark of a foundation on her because I already deepened her color a lot since her chest is very tan and dark. So I wanted to even everything out. So we are going to Go in with a little bit of bronzer and that's where I'm going to create the dimension today. So I'm going to be using the LC bronzer. Um, I obviously love this one so much that the whole entire logo has come off on the front. But um, this is a really awesome bronzer. And I just love the color. It's nice and warm. It's matte. Um, this whole bronzer line is awesome. Every single bronzer color is absolutely gorgeous and I absolutely love them. Okay, so we are going to bronze you. And you've got good cheeks, so I just kind of want to accentuate them a little bit. Um, I'm using an angled brush. I do love my angled brushes for contouring and bronzing. I just find they give a really nice blend. So I'm starting just below her cheekbone. She has kind of like a strong cheekbone. I know that um, you can't totally see it because I have made her more one-dimensional with her foundation. But um, once this bronzer's on there, you can definitely see it. So I don't want it to be too strong. So I'm not going only underneath it. If I went only underneath it, she would look, um, her cheekbones would look a little too prominent. So I'm kind of going on top of it as well as underneath it. And then just making sure that that blend is really nice and soft. And I always grab a little product, tap it off. I'm just gonna turn a little bit. So again, here's her cheekbone, and I'm not just gonna go right underneath because she doesn't need this. She already has it, so I'm kind of going right on top of her cheekbone and blending. Do you use bronzer every day? I do. Yeah. Because you told me to. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of my friends do whatever I tell them to do. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and they use all the makeup that I tell them to buy. Pretty much. <laughs> so you guys can be all my friends and do what I tell you to do and buy all the makeup I tell you to buy too. We can all be friends together. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, you. this kind of just brings, again, everything together. So I like it. And then you have like a tiny nose, so you don't need um, like nose contour. But I am going to bronze it just a tiny bit, again, to bring everything really uniform and together. And maybe a little bit on your chin, and then I'm just going to add a little bit to your neck. How are we looking? Good? I think so. You can't see yourself. I'm hoping good. <laughs> then I like to step back and just make sure everything's looking nice, and I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with how this is looking. And Julie, you have really, like, glowy skin. Oh, thank you. So... I don't know what you, what skincare you use, what exfoliators you use, but you definitely like are naturally glowing right here. I mean, I'm jealous. I want to naturally glow like that. I have to, I have to highlight myself. So we are going to still add a little bit of highlighter just because I like glowy. Do okay. you like glowy? I like glowy. Okay, good. Good, good. I like whatever Miss Jill says I need. <laughs> I always love a little glow on the skin and I just got these. These are new BH Cosmetics palettes. This one is called Blushing in Bali. I mean, who doesn't love Bali? And I really like the graphics on the front, so it's super pretty. And um, we've got a couple blushes, a couple highlighters, and with Julie's skin tone, um, I am gonna go for Sunkissed, which is more of a gold shimmer. And this is the first time I'm using this, so we will see how it looks. And I'm just going to, ooh, it's very, it, like definitely has an iridescence to it, definitely has a shimmer. Um, I'm probably 
Next time we'd use a fluffier brush because it's a little strong. I know Miss Julie and <laughs> but for all of you makeup lovers out there, I think that you could definitely get away with using kind of this size of a brush. It's just going to put it on a little strong for Miss Julie, but it's going to look awesome on camera. So just get it right here on the tops of the cheekbones. And I'm going to do a little bit just on her cheeks right here. Let me see. Look at that glow. You are definitely glowing. Okay, so then for blush, I'm going to use the same palette. I don't know. I kind of want to mix these two. I know. I'm mixing two different colors. We're just going to see. I'm feeling if I do just the coral, it's going to be too orange. And I'm feeling if I do this plummy color, it's going to be too dark. So these have a lot of pigment, like a lot of pigment. I mean, amazing. But I definitely want to blend it out. So I'm going to take just a clean brush and blend what I've applied. So I do like that. Little coral, a little pomegranate. These are very strong pigments, so I'm actually going to wipe a little bit off on my hand and then come in. And for Julie, I'm just playing it right on her apple and just kind of blending it up along her cheek. She's got really nice cheeks, so we're just kind of accentuating those. What color blush do you normally wear? Is it like a... Kind of like a you know, pinkish rose kind of color. Yeah. Which is why I wasn't feeling like too much orange. I thought it was going to be like yeah, orangey really on you. Orange. But then this was like really dark. So I do like the blend of the two. Um, but yeah, I think those. And see, if I, I, a lot of times I will give the tip, whatever kind of tone is in your lips looks really good on your cheeks, typically. And so you do have kind of that like plummier, bluish undertone lip. So doing that in your cheeks. So I'm going to give you a little more blush than you typically wear. Just because you know I love my blush. It'll look good, I promise, I promise. And this is just a clean brush I'm just blending with, so I like that. And Julie's got, um, like I said, that kind of plummier bluish undertone lip, so that is kind of how you can make everything match. Plus she's got blue eyes, so a lot of times you can look at eye color, hair color, and kind of determine based on that what would look good on your cheeks and lips. All right. So I'm just brushing through her brows. She had a little bit of peeling, so I wanted to get that excess skin off. And then I'm just going to add a tiny bit. Do you do brows typically? No. Not every I don't day, know right? What to do. Yeah. I feel like you don't do them every day. But mm -hmm. when I do your makeup, I do your brows. Yeah. Just slightly, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so I'm going to keep your brows pretty simple. Um, I'm just going to use a brow powder. And this one is by Anastasia. And we're just going to basically like. I'm using the lightest color here in medium brown. It's like a light kind of ashy, ashy beige, I guess. And I'm literally not trying to darken her brows at all. I'm just basically completing, completing them and making them look nice and shaped. But you can see that the slightest amount of color is adding to them. So if I had used the darker shade because she's blonde, it would make them way too dark. So I'm just going to fill in a little bit. And then I like to take my brush and just flick the hairs upward because it kind of gives a nice brushed through effect. I'm just going to clean the bottom, make sure it's nice and perfect, and then flick through just like that. And you don't need more color than that. If you did more color, it would just look too strong for your blonde hair. So see the difference? I mean, you can see like this side just looks really clean and then this side, it's not bad, but it's just not as perfected. So that is why we fill in our brows, people. And this is just like a small angled brush. Um, I like kind of more dense, medium length angled brushes when I'm doing powder, just because it gives like a nice um, natural finish to the brow. Nothing, nothing, you know, too thin or too hard. Just want it to be nice and natural. 
And I skipped this step in the skincare step. I don't know why, I completely forgot today. I'm off my game a little bit. But it's always good to condition your client's lips while everything else is being done. So I apologize, Julie. So we're just using a little bit of Bite Beauty Lip Mask. I love this one, it just is super hydrating. Um, just makes the lips look nice and full and plump and pretty. I mean, her skin is pretty much done. This was pretty easy. Um, I didn't do like a ton of steps, but it just gives her like a nice natural look and every day, something she can wear every day. Okay, so just a quick recap. We actually did a pretty basic skin today. We did a little bit of primer. She came in with moisturizer already, so she was already prepped for me. And we did the Veil Primer from Hourglass. And then I went ahead and used the Lancome Skin Feels Good foundation slash tinted moisturizer, whatever it's called pretty much all over, uh, mostly on her forehead cheeks. And then I went in with the LC concealer as well as the Laura Mercier concealer. And I just kind of brightened up around the eye area, concealed a little bit around the nose, and then blended my residual around the jawline, chin, and kind of any other areas just to make sure it was all even. I used the LC bronzer to contour and give a little bit of color on the forehead and then went in with the BH Cosmetics blush and highlighter from the new palette that just came out, um, the Bali palette. And we did a little bit of lip um, balm on her lips, the Bite Beauty lip mask, as well as a little bit of Anastasia brow powder in her brows just to clean everything up. But this is just a super simple everyday look. She has freckles, she has um, you know, a little bit of not discoloration, but two different tones in her face. And this is just one way to bring it all together. So you can see that the foundation I used was a little bit darker because I wanted to make sure that everything blended with her neck. So I took a look at this color and that is kind of where I drew my inspiration from just to make sure everything flows and looks amazing. And so she's glowy, she's beautiful. It's not heavy or cakey. There's no powder on her. Um, it's just kind of beautiful skin. So I hope you enjoyed this look and um, leave some comments below. Thanks again for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below what you wanna see next. All of the products used in my video are also linked below. And if you wanna see more, follow me anywhere at Joe Powell Glam. Thanks again.